mid-November in Finsterhennen, a little farming village in the Bernese Seeland region, known as the Vegetable Garden of Switzerland. Monica Baumann and her family are busy preparing for their stand at Bern's annual onion market, which takes place on the fourth Monday of November. I took on this tradition from my mother-in-law, who went to the onion market for many years. It's a family tradition, but the neighbours also help each other out. There's a lot of work involved. We do most of the work in autumn when we bind the onions into braids, but our work really starts in spring when we sow the seeds for onions and flowers for decoration. Later we have to weed the fields and cut and dry the flowers. And just when the weather is the hottest, in July and August, we have to harvest the onions. There are various stories about the origins of the tradition. A common one goes back to the early 15th century, when a big fire ravaged the old town of Bern. At the time, Bern called neighbouring Fribourg for help. To thank the people of Fribourg, Bern set up a market where the Fribourg farmers could sell vegetables such as onions and potatoes. In the past, a lot more farmers sold onions at the market. Now, for many young people, it's just become too much work. At one time, people used to get their winter supplies at the market. But in today's heated basements, the onions wouldn't keep fresh for long. And then vegetables are now available all year round. Monica's mother makes her famous waffles to keep up the morale of the workers. Her grandchildren help out. Unfortunately, there are fewer onion market stands every year, which is a shame. Instead, there are more and more stands selling all kinds of things that don't have anything to do with the tradition. On the day of the onion market, our alarm goes off at half past one at night. At half past two, we arrive in Bern and start to set up our stands. At four, we're ready for our customers. We then take turns to go and have a little treat and warm up in a restaurant. The first people come to buy their braids between four and half past four. This is a time when many locals come to the onion market, just before going to work. A little later, the first extra trains and cars bring in visitors from outside. From then on, it's crowds all day long.